here at Mowers and Blowers. We push them into the garage, but they come out driving. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry! I'm out with the blowers! Wow, right? I mean, wow. Oh, this thing look great. Holy cow. I feel like I'm in Afghanistan, you know what I mean? It's got that rough feel to it, you know, because it's matted, right? But man, oh man, this thing looks fantastic. I should have done this a long time ago. What a really cool project, you know? Uh, I gotta admit, uh, this one's really interesting, you know? Um, great job to all of you who contributed to the uh, project. Uh, your input, your ideas, um, and also thanks for chipping in for the uh, paint. Uh, really helps me out and, uh, you know, you're all a big part of this now. I'm gonna put your names uh, I think I'm going to write them on the fins over here near the vent area. You know, a uh, couple of names on each line of the vents. Uh, I'm going to write it really nice, okay? Um, I'm still working on that top secret project. Uh, I'm going to try to finish that today, okay? Um, I'm going to put the stencils on now and uh, try to give it some, you know, um, black lettering on there, you know, as the Humvees do. They... The military Humvees have very little lettering, you know, uh, in the Desert Storm, Desert uh, Shield War, they had a uh, triangular shape that went upwards like that, you know, like a triangle, black thing like that. I'm not going to put that on there, um, but, but that was for, um, so there wouldn't be any friendly fire cases, I believe, you know, because if you saw that thing with a thing like that, you know it's a friendly, don't shoot it, you know. Hmm, I forgot to put that thing on. I gotta put this back on. And I have to... Hmm. The good part of this paint job is that it doesn't have to be super perfect because a desert sand type military Humvee is actually supposed to be really dirty, you know what I mean? Uh, lots of stuff around it, you know? Like I even thought about taking some brown paint and some black paint and just doing some overspray here and there so it looks dusty and dirty like it was just in a war, you know? Uh, burn marks, you know, whatever it is. Bullet hole, you know, that's, that's what gives it a better look, you know? As you saw that I also uh, painstakingly masked off the stickers. I know, but, you know, I... These stickers were okay. If the decals were okay, I, I tried to save them, so I spent some time and masked them so that the stickers would still be there. You know? So it kind of looks original, you know? So I like this area here. It almost seems like I, I miss this curve here. Has a little bit of this darkness over here. But you know what? That's good. You know, you want handprints on it, you know? You don't want it to be, you know, like brand new. You want it to look like it's, you know, been, been through something, you know? Something about the paint, it makes it powder a lot, you know? Like I just painted this last night and I guess it leaves like a powdery, dusty residue on the end, you know? It probably needs to be watered down or something like that, but uh, you see how that is? I'm gonna have to wipe this down when I, before I put the stencil on. Or maybe I won't. Like I said, it's gotta be dirty looking, you know? This thing really came out good, didn't it? Anyway, so I'm gonna get to work on setting up the stencils so I can put some lettering on here and put that control panel back on. So it looks like this is going to take a lot of time, actually, the way I'm, I'm looking at the, the stencils. I just found the letters that I want to use to poke out the middle, right? And I got this uh, cloth that I'm just going to put along here and lined it up along this old craftsman sticker that you could still sort of see, right? Because there's a nice straight line right there for the, for the craftsman. So I want to put mowers and blowers in the stencil on it. 
So if you look at the spacing between the M and the O, right? I mean, I couldn't stick it together, right? The whole mowers and blowers stick it together and just tape it along here and then just go over it with spray paint, right? I can't do that because it's not going to fit. Look at the spacing in between it. You got like half an inch here, a little bit more than a half inch there. So if I did that, it wouldn't be good. So I honestly, I think I have to, I have to do this with my finger, hold it, spray it, <laughs> wait for it to sort of dry, because when you put this on to match it up, go again, and you keep doing that for the whole words, mowers and blowers. It'd be a lot, you know what I mean? <laughs> and on the other side too. So that's a lot. I better get cracking then, huh? So how about that, huh guys? Doesn't that look great? There's a few areas there where I just accidentally touched black paint and then I touched it to try to clean it and I smeared it. But you know what? Like I said before, it has to look a little dirty to look like it's been used, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. On this side I had to go blowers first and went backwards because I wanted to make sure I had enough room, you know what I'm saying? If I started over here, I wasn't sure of the spacing of the letters, and maybe I'd end up with just blower over there and I couldn't fit the S on the hood, you know? So you had to go backwards to make sure you had enough room. It was a lot of work, a lot of trouble, you know? In the back, I just did MNB USA. That's pretty cool, huh? Really cool. So. I'm going to start writing the names on the hood and I've decided I'm just going to write it right there. Two names, two names, two names all the way down. Just like that. Shout out to my friend Nick from Medford over at Doc Builders 1556. Go check him out on Instagram. Tell him Henry sent you. Also shout out to Kaiser's Small Engine Repair. He uh, is a new YouTuber, just started YouTubing and uh, um, just thought I'd shout him out and see if you guys could go over there and give him a subscribe. He's just starting out. I'd like to help out as many people as possible and uh, he looks like he wants to do some good work.
So here we go, fellas. All set. Thanks again to the subscribers. Tom Shrek, <laughs> Bill Martini, Jason Stevens, Kim Nesvig, Roger McDonald, Derek Waters, June Foster, Ronaldo Robinson, Dwayne Covey, Frank Shank Jr., John Pruss, Andy Gobby. Thank you to all the subscribers who uh, donated to the uh, paint job. Many thanks, fellas. Now that the bulk of this tractor is finally finished, I'm going to get to work on my top secret project. And uh, I'm not telling you. So this whole day was just basically doing the stencil. It really took a long time, you know, one letter at a time. And I had to pretty much mask off each letter as I'm putting it on. At the same time, kind of waiting in between so it could dry a little bit. Because when you mask off the, the, the letter that you just put on, it's going to smudge, you know. Anyway, so my, as you saw, my friend Andy from Jericho came by and brought his kids over uh, to sleep over. And uh, he decided to take a ride on my, <laughs> I, I don't even know what to call it. Are we calling this Franken Tractor 2 Desert Sand Humvee? All right, okay, yeah. So he decided to take my Franken Tractor 2 Desert Sand Humvee out for a spin. And uh, he had a good time. He's like, dude, you got to you gotta do a pulley swap on this and make, make it go faster. And I'm like, yeah, that's in the plans. I spent the rest of the afternoon working on my secret project. It's uh, taken longer than I thought. You just got to get it right. You know, I wanted to do the things that I needed to do. But uh, I should be able to debut it in tomorrow's episode. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's episode. We'll see you next time on Mowers and Blowers. Since it's a hauler, I got to put on a hitch. Got a good hitch here. Been saving this for a interesting project, which this definitely is. This thing really came out really well. I'm very happy with it. I love it. I don't even think I want to sell it, you know? Probably will though. It's a good hauler. I was just about to go in for the day and then uh, Quinn the mailman texts me an address and says there's two beat up push mowers like less than a mile from here so I'm gonna go check it out. Comes out with a bagger and a quantum. I'll take them. Because the UPS guy screwed this up. I'm gonna see you next time on Mowers and Blowers. It's Henry! Henry!